Bubala, you have asked me that how do I know that I am happy? So Bubala, let me ask this question that how do you know that you are hungry? You recognize the sensation creeping into your being, your body, and you just react. In order to settle it, it is instantaneous. There should be no gap between you being hungry and eating. Bubala, we are the embodiment of subtle sensations. Look around, gaze at the universe between the sun, moon, flowers, birds, rivers, oceans. There is an invisible threat. They are all connected with subtle sensations and they respond to it. That's what I call blooming. Blooming takes place when the sensitivity is addressed with utter readiness. While the whole universe blooms, man glooms. If you recognize your sensations, then you bloom. By postponing it, you gloom. A man feels utterly happy when he did not suppress any sensation. That is the mystery behind it. All natural sensations have to be addressed immediately. When you allow your energy to run through your body, instantaneously happiness is felt in the body. So no one has ever said this before, so I am saying it to you, which is not from the books, which is not from the, any gurus, which is not from any sacred texts, or which is not even imagination. It is just a fact of life, which I am sharing with you. Happiness is felt in the body. Happiness is of the body. And as far as bliss is concerned, it is of the mind. So happiness is concerned, it is of the body. Someone's touch gives you happiness, isn't it? That sensation. So happiness always comes into being in relative terms. By addressing the sensation immediately without any procrastination, you see that there is happiness. We talk about it, this phenomena called bliss, latter. But the problem is, 
mind actually create problems all kind of repressions oppressions takes place in the mind as far as the happiness is concerned mind acts just like an informer and body should act immediately it happens when the mind has no attitude or any prejudice then body functions with great ease then immediately in the realm of the body happiness is felt you are surrounded by it within and without bubala it is very subtle many people have misunderstood the happiness the word and its aura and the significance of it no one has to really understand time to understand what exactly is it so i say to you happiness is very subtle if you really happy there is no possibility that you scream that you are happy there is no outburst so you are hungry you eat and immediately all the body cells feels at ease there is happiness body feels it since you have been doing from birth you have been experiencing the hunger and you are addressing it and suddenly you feel happy you don't really scream about it do you have you ever said to anybody hey i ate today you don't do that no healthy person does that now i'll ask you to do that don't eat for 10 days then someone suddenly offers some food there is excitement you lose balance excitement is unhealthy so it is the absence of natural due course which brings the excitement any kind of excitement disturbs the body when there is no gap between the sensation and your reaction towards it happiness is felt in all aspects of life if you do that if you don't repress any sensation and you address immediately without procrastination without delaying then happiness is felt in the body so let me give you a simple analogy to prepare tea you need ingre- ingredients we all know that so when you brew it with the help of the fire after some time there is smell there is fragrance but no one can in the world create the fragrance directly fragrance cannot be created it cannot exist on its own accord it is relative like the hunger and the food and your response that whole process brings happiness you cannot be happy without doing anything happiness is the by product of karma sheer action brings sheer happiness when you address the sensations without you know getting delay if you really do that mind is always calm and quiet 
and it never gets excited then it steps out of the realm of excitement you see people celebrate new year throughout the world they plan for it we all know that i have never celebrated new year because my understanding is so simple because celebration cannot be planned celebration is nothing but surprise very subtle meeting the unexpected experiencing the unknown is celebration and the people who plan to celebrate new year in the midnight they all wait for the right time and suddenly the count the countdown begins they suppress their emotion so much to celebrate at that particular jun- juncture and particular time and the countdown begins 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 each moment you get excited and suddenly there is zero on the screen then they start screaming screaming and rejoicing and they all go crazy it is actually a fake happiness it is neither celebration nor happiness it is just the release of one year suppression of the idea that the idea of the new year you force your senses to wait until to witness the zero dot now i am asking you apply the same thought celebrate every day so midnight 12 the countdown begins then on the zero dot i don't think you really scream like the way you scream on the 31st december in the midnight you don't scream or shout because it is happening every day 365 days and 365 days 365 celebrations now i am asking you to celebrate every hour the 60th minute countdown begins for sure relatively there is less excitement why because one more hour is nearby so every day you can celebrate 24 times it is all fake now bring the same logic think of celebrating each moment because celebrating every year celebrating every month celebrating every hour all these things are relative which implies time i am also saying to reduce the time celebrate each moment now there is no gap see there is no scope for countdown either you just live as an awareness recognizing each moment and its magnanimity and you move on it's very subtle you don't scream you don't hug anybody because there is no time left to do that you don't even have time to think to celebrate so apart from all these ideas what i am trying to say or what i am trying to convey is a truly happy man neither screams nor shout or expresses joy or smile he always experiences tremendous quietness and calmness within all the time and that reflects in his actions when there is no scope for procrastination postponement then it is just an eternal moment eternal movement so that person does not indulge in awkward celebrations his life is just celebrated 
moment by moment it is so much that you don't feel like expressing it if you have just one gold coin you talk about it just imagine the entire gold which does exist in the world is yours then there is no possibility of you glorifying it you just become aware of the wealth you have you become calm and quiet you never talk about it so the truly happiest man never indulge in awkward celebrations when you hungry eat when you are sleepy sleep when you feel like walking just walk live moment to moment you just respond to the living organism and its sensations there is no split in the psychic there is no depression in the mind there is no suppression or repression in the body in the body it is a saga of great communion you just live and lead a life of bandwagon of uncountable innumerable celebrations because celebration is relative bubala if you eat once in a year you remember it when you eat when hungry you forget all about it if you celebrate once in a year in special days you have to remember it it is remembered because of the suppression and the gap between what you want and when it got manifested so who celebrates each moment for him there is no time there is no gap between the person and the pursuit now let me give you a statement which originated in me by understanding my life in its totality so you have asked me how do i know that i am happy and i say to you happiness cannot exist alone it is relative when you address the sensation immediately happiness is felt so absence of the procrastination is happiness bubala remember this happiness is the dimension of the body mind just notices the sensations when you don't respond it gets reinforced mind gets stubborn and it becomes addictive and it spoils the body which is a mystery so when you are hungry eat when you are sleepy sleep by doing this body dwells in eternal relaxation and ease that is happiness as i said before that bliss is totally a different thing and of the different dimension we discuss about it at the right time when natural needs are fulfilled happiness is felt so happiness is always have to be related with the natural needs and never link the happiness with those needs which are unnatural so when natural needs are fulfilled happiness is felt in the body while body is happy mind stays calm and quiet now my mind is saying that recite is enough stop talking 
So I am welcoming my mind's suggestion and I am stopping here now. Hence, within few seconds my mouth will be shut. And my body is happy. And I also see that a certain kind of quietness and calmness creeping into my mind. Bubala addresses the natural sensations without any procrastination, predicament, without delay. And be happy. Become happy and being happy. If there is no body, there is no possibility of happiness. And happiness is always relative. Understand the natural sensations. When mind notices it, immediately react. Without any procrastination. I just had food, I just responded to the sensation, I just spoke to you, I just responded to the sensations and again I am responding to the sensations that I feel like stopping here now. and I am happy and my happiness is felt in the body while the, my mind is quiet and calm and relaxed. Raso Vaisaha Risa